These are dive bomber push-ups, a really nice body weight, upper body movement that is a nice change up from regular push-ups. These really hammer the shoulders, the triceps, and the chest. And you can see it's similar to where your start position would be uh, for like a downward dog in yoga. And we're just rolling into what's like a cobra position in yoga. But it's the transition between those two positions that is really the key. It's slow, it's controlled, and you're really only letting your toes and your hands touch the ground. So you can see there's a lot of tricep work there, pushing out from the floor with your hands and then rolling back into that sort of downward dog type position is big time on your shoulders. And so again, we're pushing up from the floor with our hands, extending through those triceps, feeling the burn in those triceps, and then back up into that sort of downward dog type of position. That's where you sort of start the dive bomb, rolling down, flowing into that sort of cobra type position, squeezing those triceps at the top. So it's big time shoulders right here from the floor up into that downward dog position, then flowing down, rolling back up, hands pressing through the floor, getting into that cobra type position, big time tricep extension and chest there. And there's also a way you can break these down into two separate movements. So I'm going to show you how you can really hit the shoulders with just the downward dog position, moving up and down from that position, and then just hitting the more of the chest and triceps. So here is just sort of staying in that downward dog type of position, rolling forward and back, sort of cutting the exercise in half and really hitting the shoulders hard if you wanted to just focus more on the shoulders. And then you can do the same type of thing with the cobra type of position, just going up and down into that cobra position. Again, nothing's touching the ground except my hands and toes here. So the hips and uh, abs don't touch the ground. 